Hi everybody, it's Deanna again from Memories by Deanna. I'm here with another exciting tutorial. In Photoshop we'll be learning today how to clone. And this picture is my family. And you can see here we have a drink that's magnetized and stuck to the pole, which I don't want that to be in the picture. So what we're going to do is use the clone tool to go right over that. So I'm going to zoom in by pressing the control plus sign. And I'm scrolling down with the mouse scroller. Okay, so here's the problem area right here. And you can see down below right here, this is exactly the same as what this area would have been if that, that can wasn't there. So what I'm going to do is take this on the left toolbar over here, there's this clone stamp tool, and it looks like a rubber stamp. I'm going to click that, and what I have to do is select an area to target. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit further. I'm going to make my tool size larger by pressing the right bracket key on my keyboard, which is between the P and the forward slash and under the backspace button. Sometimes it doesn't work right away, so I just re-engage it and then it should work. So I'm not going to make this too big because I don't want to run into this finger here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press the Alt key and it makes it into this different shape mouse. And then as I'm pressing Alt, I'm going to left click um, that selects what area my target area is. So, as you can see, it's there. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up to the area, my problem area, where I want to cover it, and I want to line it up as good as possible with my mouse. So, a couple things about this tool is that there's always a couple ways to change things in Photoshop. There's a key, a quick key, there's a way that you could do it on for this particular tool there's like a sub menu bar once you've clicked this once you're you've clicked this the clone stamp tool this secondary toolbar comes up and these are specific to that tool that you have selected this one right here when i drop down this box it shows the hardness of the the brush and then the size, you could always change it that way too if you if you don't like using the keyboard to enlarge your brush size. You could always come here and just use the slider to make it larger or smaller. Then there's also over here different, you could make the brush have uh, different characteristics. Um, I usually just stay with normal. The opacity is going to be how how much pressure, how much, how dark it is. I'm sorry, the flow is the pressure and then the opacity is how much, how strong the cloning is. So for this one, I just want to move it up to 100% because I want to match it 100% over since this is, sometimes I'll do like 50% depending on uh, how much the target area matches the part that you're trying to clone because you kind of have to blend it sometimes. But for this situation, I don't think I'll have to blend it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change it to 100, and then I'm going to go ahead and start. So as you can see, I'm just pulling up, and it's just... And you can see it right here on the bottom. It's it's matching, do you see the little plus sign, and then my big circle. Whatever it has on that plus sign, that's what it's covering with the with the circle. So you can see that I didn't pull down far enough so I actually started to catch some of the bottom of the can again. So I'll reselect, so I'm pressing Alt and I'm pressing the left mouse button. I'm reselecting an area so that I could just finish up that part right there. And then I'm gonna do this right here and so this I'm gonna change to 50% like I was saying because see that little bit of shadow that was left over from the can? I don't want to cover it 100%. 
I just want to lighten it a little bit. So, okay, so there we go. Um, you could see on this menu bar here, this shows you the history. And you could see I cloned six times. If I click this little picture button, that'll take a picture of what it looks like now. And then I could kind of toggle through what it was originally and what it is now. So here's the original picture with the can. Here's the picture after all of my cloning without the can. And that's it. It's pretty easy. You just have to get used to using it. It is a powerful tool and it's pretty easy to get a little too strong with the cloning um, and what you have to watch out for is duplicating patterns and so you don't want it to look cloned so you just have to be careful to for whatever area you're selecting make sure there's no patterns that are pretty obvious um, and that's it so good luck try it on your own I'd love to see some results if you end up using it the before and after would be great. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.